Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Want to see a piece of a piece? Eh? Are you saying something, P? Hello. Hello. <laughs> what do you want to tell the people? people? Tell them something. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> tell them, have a beautiful day. And what you say? Oh, you're so sweet. Welcome to the Lean Girl Kitchen. No, in the kitchen. <laughs> then they can the kiss it. This is the kiss it. This the kiss Okay, say so bye to the camera now. Bye, camera. Say bye, everyone. Love bye. you. Love you. Do you want to say bye, Bella? Bye. Bye. I love you. Hey guys and welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. Today I am bringing you a full day of eating for fat loss. It is going to be a 1,500 calorie day and I am not in my house. I am at my sister's house. She's actually on 1,500 calories by the way. I'm actually at maintenance but I said to her, here's, I need the light here. I, I said to her, the rule is if I can stay with you, I will cook for you and I will track and plan all of the calories, all the macros, and all of the meals. So if you are excited for a full day of eating, give me a yeah, yeah in the comments because I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, I've already showered um, and gotten ready for the day, so we're gonna do a bit of a backtrack to the beginning of the day, but I'm actually in my sister's room. She's gone to a meeting, but I need to tell you guys that I just spent like an hour getting ready because I used all of the items in her bedroom. <laughs> Wait, I have to close this. Like, this is the joys of having a sister. Like, peeps, how are these cosmetics? The makeup, I did my hair, I put on all of her expensive creams, I used about five different eyebrow products. Guys, I'm also wearing her t-shirt. It's all happening, okay? And she's not even here, she's not even here. But to be honest, when I did go to the cupboard, I saw many items that were mine. So I'm not actually feeling bad, I'm not feeling guilty. Okay, we don't even get to the cupboard. But okay guys, we are gonna do 1,500 calories. It's gonna be high volume foods, high protein as always, making a lot of lean girl meals. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna love them if you try them out. I'll put the calories and macros up on screen of everything. Um, so we're gonna do a bit of a rewind to the beginning of the day. By the way, the reason I'm at my sister's house is because we are renovating the house. We're doing a reno of our kitchen, we're doing our lounge, we're getting new furniture. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some YouTube videos on the whole transformation of the house. I'm really excited, but it is so dusty right now. So I'm very happy to be here, not only because it's fun to be with my sister, but also to spend some time with the twins who will definitely be featuring in today's video that are downstairs causing havoc as always. So rewind, I'm gonna take you to the beginning of the day. I'm gonna show you a bit of my workout. The full workout will be up on my YouTube, on my Instagram page, and then we'll make the first meal of the day. So let's get into the fun part, the eating. Yeah, yeah. We are kicking off this what I eat in a day with none other than a good cup of coffee and I'm going to be using some unsweetened almond breeze almond milk this morning. This is probably the lowest calorie milk that you can use in your coffee and adding it to a frother just makes it extra special. I love a bit of froth on my cappuccino, well on my coffee to make it like a cappuccino. and. FYI, any Nespresso pod or actually even instant coffee that you use is basically zero calorie 
batteries and to sweeten it up I do use um, a sachet all the sweetener pulls because I do like my coffee sweet um, and you can just give that a stir and then I add in my frothed milk when it's ready but while I'm waiting I am having my two GNC chewable vitamins the one is a hair vitamin and the other is a vitamin D supplement if I'm really honest well I just eat them because they're gummies um, not ready for the vitamins but hey um, and then I'm just gonna give it a good stir and that is my meal number one for the day okay guys so for the first meal of the day I'm going to do in my carrot cake oats you know what, I desperately wanted to do something different. I did, I wanted to do my protein French toast, but I just cannot get past the oats. Like I have to make it. I've been craving it all morning and it's really nice and high volume. My sister has gone to a bit, uh, I think a meeting or something. So she's only gonna be back a little bit later. So I know my lunch is probably only gonna be around three. So I'm gonna wait for her to get back. Our deal is if I'm staying with her, I'm cooking. Good deal. Um, so she'll probably make lunch with me. So I need something nice and high volume that will keep me full for a couple of hours. So, and throughout the video, I'll be putting calories and macros up on the screen. So let's make my famous carrot cake oats. Carrot cake for breakfast. Yeah, boy. My girls, in this video, I'm really gonna show you how you can eat delicious food that is super high volume, that is low calorie, that is high protein, I promise you now, if you just check out my highlights, check out my YouTube video, or sign up for my kitchen coach, I am gonna show you guys how you do not have to eat dry chicken and broccoli, you do not have to go hungry to get lean. All of these meals you can make right at home, they're all simple, they're all easy, they're low calorie, delicious, high volume, all those good things. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm literally getting hungry about a second, so let's go. All right, let's get started with breakfast. So I'm using these Scottish porridge oats, which are my absolute favorite. They are so creamy and yummy. I get them at Wellness Warehouse or Diskim. Um, so I've got 50 grams of that, which I am doing on the stove. And I know you can do this in the microwave, but the texture for me comes out so much better if you are doing it on the stove. It just becomes really nice and creamy. I always add a pinch of salt to my oats to bring out the rest of the flavors. Like it is a small thing, but I promise you it makes a huge, huge difference. I sweeten my oats with sachets of sweetener. I like to go for zero calorie sweetener because obviously it's zero calories and um, I'd rather spend my calories on other delicious things. So um, sweetener is my poison of choice. Um, I'm then going to go ahead and grate some carrots. I use the fine grater to grate these um, just because that way it cooks a lot quicker. So you can go for one or two carrots depending on how much more volume you want to add. All right, now I'm just adding my carrot to my oats and that's gonna start boiling away nicely and starting to soften up that carrot. I really love that I'm adding veggies to my breakfast, well, my first meal of the day, and as well, it adds some really nice volume um, and texture as well to this oats. I am then gonna be adding some cinnamon, obviously, because um, that will also give it that delicious carrot cake flavor. So I am then gonna be adding some egg whites, this is going to up the protein of our oats and of course it is also going to increase the volume and it is going to help us reach that all important protein goal as well. So this is how I weigh out my egg whites. You'll see that I weigh everything as I go. It is so important when you're counting calories to be accurate. Accuracy is key. So if you are counting calories and you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, it's time to get really accurate. You need to be tracking every lick bite, taste, five chips off your man's plate because all of these things add up over the day. I am now just stirring away as our egg whites start to cook. This is important so that you don't have lumps of egg whites. You can here see the texture. It is really nice and creamy and thick and almost pudding-like. And as you can see here, as I put it into my bowl, it's become really nice and thick. You don't want it to be too watery or it's not gonna have that really nice and creamy consistency. 
And I'm just topping it off with a little bit of pancake syrup. This is the Lean Gourmet one. You can buy it at Diskim. Um, it's not my absolute favorite, but I still do quite enjoy it. And then of course, we're gonna be adding some peanut butter as well, just to top it off and add a bit of fats into our meal. So now this is a really nice and macro balanced one. You'll see that I'm using the no sugar, no salt one, but that's just because that's the one that my sister had. I actually prefer one with a bit of sugar and salt. Okay, Michael, so first meal ready to go. My lean girl carrot cake oats which if you haven't tried yet do yourself a favor i'm gonna crack on and do a bit of work now i've got so much content planning to do so i'm gonna head into the office and do that now and eat my oats and i will see you guys then for the next Hey girls, so it is lunchtime and I'm about to whip up some, they're called summer rolls, but we're making them a little bit different. Galan is in the background making some coffee. Hey. He wanted to feature photobombing, photobombing the lean girl. Okay, so we are gonna be making some summer rolls. My sister's supposed to be back by now, but I think she purposefully takes longer so she knows like I get hangry and I have to start cooking without her. So, I think that she's gonna have to make dinner, like seriously. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the summer rolls. I'm gonna show you guys what ingredients I've already prepped um, to have ready. These are really awesome and simple to make and perfect. It is a beautiful hot day outside, so it's really nice and fresh and tasty. Um, and you can actually throw together so many different things into these summer rolls. I actually make like a more wintry version, which is like a spring roll. I'm gonna link it in this video as well. Those are my Lean Girls spring rolls, which I do in the air fryer, which are thebomb.com. But this is the more fresh, summery version. Um, you can also do lots of seafood in this one if you like. Today, I'm gonna be, actually no one's gonna be doing it after Sea Spiracies. I actually haven't watched Sea Spiracies yet. And I'm scared too because so many people have been like, say no to fish. But today we're making chicken ones, so do not fear, my ladies. Okay, so I've prepped everything ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys what I have prepped and then we are gonna get to making them. I swear, if you see things flying across the screen, it's like I just had a fly infestation all of a sudden. Like, all of a sudden, as soon as I started recording this video, I just got like a swarm of flies in here. Okie dokie, let's have a look at what we're doing. Okay, so we are gonna be using these rice paper rolls. You can get the big ones from, I think, Food Lovers as well as Spa. The Woolworths sells small ones, but the big ones are much better. Otherwise, we have to make like really a lot of tiny ones. And then I've prepped up, this is just some um, chicken breast, which I have got off a rotisserie chicken and sliced up. I've weighed out for my sister and I so that we have um, all of our calories and macros correct. And then I julienne some carrots and some cucumber. I've got coriander, you either love it or hate it, and some spring onions. And then for our sauce, which we're gonna be putting in, I'm gonna be using this vital soy sauce, which is garlic, ginger, and sesame flavor, which is perfect to go with all of these and then all of these ingredients. And then I've also got a bit of sesame seeds, which we are going to use to just garnish everything. There's the fly. Is it? Ah, fly also wants to feature. Okay, let me show you guys how I make this. I've got some hot water here, I'm ready to go. Um, and we're basically just gonna dunk our little rice papers in and then we're gonna fill them up. So let me show you guys.
So while we're waiting for Miss Agastoni to arrive, I thought I would just have a quick chat to you guys about food in general. I really hope to inspire you guys with these meals to make sure that all of the food that you're eating is delicious, is tasty, is satisfying. When we are eating bland, boring diet food, you know that clean eating foods list of these very specific things that don't taste like much and we're trying to get lean that way. Unfortunately, as soon as we eat something that actually tastes good, we go completely crazy. So if you find yourself binge eating a lot, maybe it's because your meals are not tasting good, guys. And that is what I love to show you guys, how you can make different stuff, have variety in your life, have variety in your food. You can eat so many delicious things while you're getting lean, while still staying in that calorie budget. And every single meal can be a total celebration of food. It can hit all the right spots. It can be really big and filling which I hope you guys are gonna see in these meals today. I have a huge appetite and I love eating huge high volume meals. Um, and that is how I have been able to get as lean as I have. Um, and also to be able to maintain that because the food that I eat, I never feel hungry. I never feel like I have to go without. Um, and of course, they're always high protein as well. So that's helping me not only maintain my lean muscle, but build more lean muscle, which is absolutely essential when you are trying to get lean. We don't only um, want to lose fat, but we want to make sure that we're building lean muscle, which is going to give you that hard toned look that we are after. So I just wanted to leave you guys with that. We will see when this lady arrives because I am so hungry. I'm like a borderline hangry um, and ready to eat. So she said like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago that she was five minutes away. So, I mean, I hope she's fine, which I'm sure she is. Um, but she always, I swear, she always stops by like the weirdest, obvious places. Like she doesn't care who's waiting for her. Like in a way, I'm like, that's amazing. Like you just do you. But like, I'll be like, where were you? And then she'll be like, oh, I just stopped by to try on those 10 pairs of shoes. I'll be like, how, why now? Anyways, let's hope she arrives so we can eat our delicious summer rolls. And I really hope that you guys try these out and do your own little delish flavor combos and I will see you guys at the next meal. So I just want you to tell the people where you've been. I have been late. <laughs> I don't, you don't deserve me. I had a meeting but now I'm here and I'm so excited to eat my yummy food. I'm so hungry. Yeah. I'm starving. Guys. This looks so fabulous. WTF. It is now around five o'clock and I am having meal number four and I am just doing a quick and easy protein shake, which I just blend with ice and water. I normally have my Metalab protein shake, but the one that my sister had here was something different. But if you are looking for a delicious protein shake, the Metalab one is my favorite. My favorite flavors are vanilla and caramel. Um, and so I use a big Nutribullet container. I add a little bit of sweetener because I like my protein shakes to taste like a milkshake. So I've got my handy helper here um, adding sweetener for me. And then a very special ingredient which helps to make protein shakes really big, high volume and almost fluffy is something called Zanum gum, which I add a teaspoon of each. And just for an extra bit of flavor, I'm adding some of this vanilla custard sugar-free syrup from Tantalize. You can buy that online or in Diskim. And now you just want to blend it up really good and well and actually blend it for quite a long time and you'll see that the texture slowly starts to change. Finished. Okay. You want to sit here for a second? Yeah. Do you girls want to taste it? Yeah. Hi people. Are you saying hello? That's true. You're not supposed to look. Okay, one step each. Okay. One step. Okay, one step. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, enough, enough, enough. What do you think? Out, out. Enough? Out, hot. Not get off. 
What do you think? Was it nice? More? Yeah. No more. more. One more sip. Okay. One hold it. You're gonna hold it one sip, then you give it back to me. Yeah. Because it's not for it's not for babies. Okay. Now you're both gonna be stuck and finished. Nice girl. Okay, and just juice. Protein juice. Okay, ladies, we are at the last and final meal of the day. Well, we probably are gonna have a little bit of calories left. You're just like a stalker in the background. <laughs> She's actually featuring for real now. How's it? Are you actually gonna contribute? I'm contributing. I will be the assistant tonight. She's actually gonna be contributing. Seeing that she just rocks up the bunch. It's so the whole. Thing. And she can live up the rest And now of her it's life. the easiest meal of all that we're making because the twins took extra long to decide to go to bed. So now we have to make something easy. Thanks for having me on your channel, Ange. Because we're really hungry. Follow the girl, Twin Mama Hustle. If you enjoyed the twinnies on the channel, then you can get more of them on Plenty. Her Instagram. Okay, what are we making? We're gonna make. Some little salmon fillets, which are really quick and easy to yeah. make. This is literally the easiest meal. And we've already got pre-cooked barley from Woolworths, which is a great cheat. But super local as well, Herb. It's really nice and local. Like basically we can share this. It's more local thing. than rice. It's lower local than rice. And I actually like more. It's and like chewy. It's chewy. chewy. It's like, it takes longer to eat. Yeah, bro. And then we're gonna make the salad, a salad the size of our heads. Something big. A huge ass salad. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna whip this up and we'll show you the final product and then dessert. You will see with all of my meals, I love to either have a whole ton of veggies or a really nice, big, delicious salad. This helps to add a lot of volume to your meals and make sure that your meals are really nice and big without adding too many calories. So I'm using gem lettuce here. Um, I really like this kind of lettuce. I, I enjoy the flavor versus like an iceberg lettuce, which I feel like it doesn't have much. And then I'm just gonna be adding your usual cucumber. Some rosa tomatoes. Some spring onions. And we are just gonna make a nice big salad with all of these. So guys, I just have to have a moment. Hello. For my anchovies. It's literally my favorite ingredient of all time. Like I am so addicted to anchovies. Like if, I think AA Anonymous is actually. Anchovies Anonymous. <laughs> anchovies Anonymous. <laughs> and I would be the leader of the pack. Yeah. Anonymous. If you haven't tried them, these are from Woolworths by the way. And you only need like, a hundred. No, I'm joking. You only need like five chopped up into a salad. And how much olive oil do you want to get in the pan? <laughs> Zero to none. How about that? The dressing that I'm going to be using for our salad is my good old trim mayo, which is the lowest cal mayo that I've found. And I also really like it. It's got a nice tangy flavor. And I like to add a bit of white wine vinegar to my mayo, which helps to just thin it out a little bit. And it goes a lot further if you are trying to mix it and make sure that it reaches all of your little salad leaves. Right, so now it's time to cook our little salmon pieces. I have got a hot non-stick pan on the go 
and I have sprayed it with some non-stick spray as I do with all of my food for cooking. You really don't need any additional oil. And so I put our salmon down, skin side down first, and then you also just wanna give them a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of spice. And I like my salmon to be pretty medium rare. So I'm just gonna give it a few minutes on the one side and then I'm going to turn it over. Okay guys, so here is dinner. We have our body, we have our gorgeous big salad, we've got some salmon, which by the way, I know Woolies is totally overpriced. I now get this from Fresh Catch Deli, which delivers in Joburg, um, literally to your house, and they are so much more affordable, and he also portions them out to the grams that I want, so winning. There is Twin Mama Hustle and I's dinner, and a very hungry, <laughs> Let's eat people. Lulu, 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 boy. Lulu, 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 Tell them to subscribe, Lulu. Tell them. Please. Subscribe. You can't say no. <laughs> you can't say no to that face. Hey, Lulu. You're solid. You're a solid piece of meat. Give them a smooch. You're a solid piece of meat. Oh, Lulu. Sub subscribe, friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you had a hubbly bubbly, you'd be like the worm in. Okay guys, so <laughs> Okay guys, so it is the official final meal of the evening and we have a little bit more protein to go to hit our protein goal. So we are gonna be doing a good old lingual frozen fruit. Well the fruit actually has not been frozen, unfortunately, because Candace doesn't like it frozen. I don't like the frozen. I like it. So now like, it's not frozen. Like it's all. Damn. And I love mango. So now we are gonna be doing a little yogurt bowl. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make it and then we are gonna wrap it up. Okay, so here's dessert. We are doing some Greek yogurt. I really love this one from the Gourmet Greek because it is nice and high in protein. It's really thick and it still has that creamy flavor where I find some of the fat-free ones aren't as creamy. I'm adding a little squirt again of my um, vanilla custard tantalized syrup, which gives this yogurt a really yummy flavor, especially if you're having it with fruit. It's almost like fruit and custard. Um, so I'm just gonna be giving that a little good mix. And you can also add some sweetener um, to your yogurt as well if you like things to be extra sweet. What I really love about this yogurt bowl is depending on what macros I have left for the day, I can add various items. So I can add more or less fruit. I can add, if I really have calories to play with, I can add some peanut butter. I could add even a little bit of granola or muesli, or I could just keep it light with some fruit. Um, and I also like to add a little bit of sugar-free syrup to just end this off. And of course, a little bit of cinnamon. Okay guys, so that is the last and final meal of the evening, which is the glorious, guys, I got some frozen fruit. I got a few smidgens of frozen fruit. I am happy. That is our last little delicious dessert for the evening. And I'm gonna put up the total of the calories for the day. Okay, my girls, that brings us to the end of the full day of eating for fat loss. I hope that you guys got lots of good ideas. The food was so good. And she is the best cook. And I'm so full after all our delicious meals today. Exactly. You don't have to go hungry, people. There's no hunger in this house. There's it's no volume, hunger. volume, volume. You can eat all the food. Um, if you guys like the video, what do you have to do? Subscribe! Even Louis said so. And like the video. And let us know if you want to see more full days of eating. Yay! 
Beautiful, fabulous. Good night. Okay. Yeah, actually, you, this is what she's gonna you eat. You take this. She's actually gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> Love you all. Good night. Are you awake? Are you sleeping? Yeah. I feel like your eyes are open. Are you snoring? Oh. <laughs> You're a good watchdog, baby. You can sleep and be awake at the same time.